Good evening, guys. Welcome to this uh, nightly devotion where we're reading the book of John. Tonight we'll be in John chapter 8, starting in verse 1, and we're going all the way through 29. So let's get it. It says, <clears throat> They went each to his own house, but Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning he came again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and placing her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman has been caught in the act of adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. So what do you say? This they said to test him, that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. And once more he bent down and wrote on the ground. But when they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the oldest one, and only Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus stood up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, sin no more. Again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, You are bringing witness about, about yourself? Your testimony is not true. Jesus answered, Even if I do bear witness about myself, my testimony is true, for I know where I come from and where I am going, but you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge according to the flesh, and I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is true, for it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law it is written that the testimony of two people is true. I am the one who bears witness about myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness about me. They said to him, Therefore, where is your Father? Jesus answered, you, need, you know neither me nor my Father. If you knew me, you would know my Father also. These words he spoke in the treasury as he taught in the temple. But no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. So he said to them again, I am going away, and you will seek me, and you will die in your sin. When I am Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, Will he kill himself? Since he says, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You are from below, and I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? And Jesus said to them, Just what I have been telling you from the beginning. I have much to say about you, and much to judge, but he who sent me is true, and I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he had been speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do not nothing on my own authority, but speak just as the Father taught me. And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do the things that are pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, they believed in all right, guys. So where it says that uh, his hour had not yet come, in theology, this is what we call the messianic secret. It's where Jesus was the Messiah, but it wasn't time for him to reveal that. Even though he did reveal it to the lady at the well, uh, it's just because she was a Samaritan and not a Jew. Um, it wasn't time for the Jew, the Jewish people to know that he was the Messiah, because when he said those words, they would know exactly what it was that he was referring to the prophesied Messiah from the Old Testament. So when it says that his hour had not yet come, uh, it was not yet time for him to die. 
I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading and that you have a wonderful night. God bless you guys.